Hi guys, welcome back to Culinary Medicine. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be fermenting organic red bell peppers. So I picked up these dried organic red bell peppers and I have a small jar and I'm going to ferment the bell pepper so that um, I'll, it'll make a nice relish that you can add to meals, to salads, or have as a side. You can add it to uh, a burger or a veggie burger. Should be extremely delicious. This is the first time I'm making this and I'm making it live, or not live, but on this video with you. Following a simple guideline, I recently made, uh, experimented with sun-dried tomatoes. And if you want to watch that video, then the link is up here. And I tried that out. The sun-dried tomatoes turned out amazing. So I thought I would follow the same recipe that I use and just incorporate that into these dried red bell, bell peppers. So the first thing that we're going to do is crush our garlic. I have um, actually four cloves of garlic for this. So I'm just gonna crush the garlic, which is going to cause uh, the defense mechanism inside the garlic that um, causes it to release more of those phytonutrients. So, and the other thing that this crushing does is allow you to easily remove the skin or paper uh, that's wrapped that you find on the garlic. So it just comes right off after you crush it. And then I'm going to, as I remove the paper, I'm going to drop the garlic into my jar. And for this recipe, I'm just going to add the garlic in the bottom right there. So we have the garlic added. And I'm just going to use probably a half a tablespoon of the herbs to province since this container is a bit smaller. And so I have the brine pre prepared and I use three tablespoons of the sea salt, Redmond's Real Salt, which has extra minerals just in addition to the sodium that your body needs, especially considering our produce is so, de the soil is so depleted that our produce um, ends up being depleted of minerals because our soil is depleted. Um, anyway, the next thing I'm gonna do is just put in these dried red pepper, um, pieces of red pepper dried up. I'm gonna leave enough room to add a little stone to keep these under solution. And then, um, you know, that's didn't leave quite enough room. So instead of using the stone, The next thing that I'm gonna do is add in the salt solution, which is a cold brine. On top of that, I made a weight with a plastic bag by literally adding the brine to the bag and um, sealing that up. So that will go on top just to make sure that the red pepper stays under and in the, the brine so that we're not getting, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the brine. This keeps everything in. And on top of that, I'll just put on the easy fermenting, easy fermenter lid. So there you have it. I am making a red, a fermented red pepper relish by simply adding 
fresh garlic, herbs of choice. I chose to use the herbs, the province blend that I bought. Add in the dried organic red bell pepper flakes. And then on top of that, you pour in your brine and make sure that you put a weight. I used a plastic bag, a little snack size bag with brine in it. Weight that down, keep it under solution. Let this go for two to four weeks. I'll probably let it go for about three or four weeks. You want, you can tell there'll be like the, when the lactic acid has fermented the vegetable, there's going to be like an acidic tang to, to your vegetables. Um, again, that's it. So I'm excited to try this one out again, three to four weeks. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to learn how to incorporate the fermented vegetables, go ahead and find our Instagram page, which is in the discussion below. Like that page and you can see some of the, the foods that I incorporate these into. Also, like and subscribe to the channel and you will see more recipes where they're incorporated into. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.